coming in. The uh, Forest City Atlanta Music Hall of Fame. We're the only city-specific city music hall of fame. So only hall of fame dedicated to musicians and artists from a particular city in, in all of Canada, actually. London, Ontario is the only one that has one. So this is an old mass jeweler store. We picked it up in November 2016. Garth Hudson of the band helped cut the ribbon that day in November. And we have artifacts and displays from some of the 41 currently artists who have been inducted. They all have ties to London or surrounding area. Either were grown up here, born here, started their musical career here. And this is just to recognize. And it's not just pop and rock, it's opera. We have country, uh, blues, jazz, that kind of stuff. So come on in, take a look. So this is our display of probably the most famous Londoner in the music industry, and that was uh, Guy Lombardo. He sold over 300 million records worldwide from starting out in the 1920s right up to his death in 1977. He would wear a dark jacket, being the band leader, and his band, his uh, instrumental band, would wear these red jackets, all custom made in Italy, except for this one here. Why is this one not custom made? Because in 1971, Guy Lombardo band playing in the Chicago area, their trumpet player becomes ill, they have to go to the local musicians union in Chicago to get a replacement, they send a female, she plays with them for two weeks, trumpet player gets better, he comes back in the band, the female, leaves, but they had to buy her jacket, and there it is, off the rack. So what you're looking at, folks, is the jacket of the only female ever to play with the Guy Lombardo band in history, and we have it here at the London Music Hall of Fame. So if you're looking for a, a, a gift for that special someone, Christmas gift, how about a pair of boots like that? Those boots were worn by Mercedes Landers, who was the lead singer of an all-girl teenage band, heavy metal band from London, Ontario. They were called Kitty, with her sister um, Morgan on drums. And she wore those shoes in this, uh, I'm not exactly sure what that blue thing is there, but they wore it on their performance on the Conan O'Brien show. So this is an all-female teenage girl group in heavy metal, making it big in the world, all from London, Ontario. And they were up for a Juno in 2000 for the best new group. They didn't win, but they were still up for that. Steve, that Pretty cool. Is a we actually came up to play with them once. Uh, it was a noise fest in London. Right. And that's the kettle drum that they used to use. Oh, wow. The actual drum. They oh, wow. it to us. They didn't use the standard bass drum. They made all their own instruments. Right? They were artists. What? What's this piece of equipment here? That, that it's amplifier? It's an amp, right? That's a Probably the most charming man you'll ever meet. And he's no still, ego, no. And he's still alive. No, nothing. He's in his 90s. Oh, wow. When he won, usually when people are inducted, we ask. And he became a session bass player, session viola player, played with all of the things. And he started with booking agents. Yeah. But it looks robotic, though, almost. Yeah. So this is our display of the punk new wave bands from London. We have four that have been inducted. The Demix, which were the first ones ever inducted in the Hall of Fame here back in 2002. We got Uranus, had a big hit in the early 80s called You're So Square that made Canadian radio sheep look up. And the fourth one is this band, 63 Monroe. And over here we have the leather jacket and the boots of their lead singer, Scott Bentley, a.k.a. Steve R. Stunning. And he wore the jacket and the boots when they performed at the famed New York City punk club, CBGB. So while you think about that, See if you can remember or know what CBGBs actually stands for. If you don't know, come and visit us here at the London Music Hall of Fame. They'll tell you. Who that was? I don't. John Rutsey. He didn't um, like touring. I think he had an inner ear infection. Yeah. So um, yeah. two, four days later, they uh, got Neil, or they auditioned Neil Peart. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Now they're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah. And it's uh, funny, many yeah. years ago, I was at, saying that story to someone. You ever heard of John Rutsey? He says, oh, yeah, he's my half-brother. Oh, what? Really? So, yeah. Yeah. So he was his half brother. Didn't know him all that well, but yeah. uh, it's kind of interesting. That's cool. There's a neat story with this guy here, Jack Bella. He was born in London. Uh, Chris Williams is one of the best known players of all time. Oh, yeah. He's a great guy. Yeah. He's a great guy. 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 He's a because solve all of the matter. My daughter doesn't even know what those are. I know, it's <laughs> sad. Yes. Well, thanks for coming. Thank you very much.